Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. So, something I've been noticing a lot of lately, a lot of, in all of the Facebook groups, on Instagram, anywhere on social media where groups of resellers gather together to talk, I have noticed a lot of people mentioning that they're allowing their life to get in the way of their work. And they're making all these excuses as to why they didn't list or didn't photograph. And then, in most cases, these t same people are coming back to complain or question why they're not making any sales and they're not making enough money. So I kind of want to address this with you guys. Yes, when you work for yourself, when you're self-employed, you have a lot of freedom that you didn't have when you worked a nine to five or you worked in the corporate world. But that doesn't mean you have the freedom to make tons of excuses and not work. Working from home, working for yourself, doesn't mean that you don't work. It doesn't mean because you work from home that you get to wake up and go out to breakfast and go out to lunch and go shopping and watch TV and never work. You have to be rigid enough with yourself that you are actually your own boss. You still have to work. If you expect your reselling business to give you results and to make money, you have to put the work in. It's not magic. Reselling is not a get rich quick scheme. It is not some magical thing where you're going to list 10 items and a month later be rich. You've got to be working every day. You've got to be listing every day. You've got to be sourcing. If you're on Poshmark, you've got to be sharing and following. You've got to be running sales and tweaking. There are a thousand things that you should be doing every single day for your reselling business to make money for you. The most important of which is to be listing every day. And I see that a lot as well where people will list a couple of items and three weeks will go by and they didn't sell anything and they're questioning it, but those three weeks nothing else was listed. You can't list a bunch of items and then wait three weeks to a month and expect to make money. You've got to be working every day. You are your own boss and there are certain freedoms that come with that, but make sure that in, in the essence of the freedom that you have, you're not making excuses, you're making it work. And by that I mean, yes, life happens, especially if you have kids or other responsibilities. Life can happen, it can throw wrenches into your life into your work I mean so life happens throws wrenches into your work schedule into your routines but it's not an excuse don't make excuses don't say well hey my whole morning was thrown off whack and I had to go pick up a, ki a sick kid from school or I had to take my cat to the vet or I had to take my car in for repairs um, any number of things that have happened you can't say oh well that threw my whole morning out of whack so I'm not working today just pfft. No, the whole point of working from home is to make it work, not to make excuses. So if something happens in the morning that you have to deal with, you don't make excuses to not work for the rest of the day. You make being self-employed work for you and you instead do your listing or your work in the evening. And that's the freedom of working from home. The freedom of being your own boss is that you can schedule your work around your life but you still have to work you cannot allow the fact that you have all of these freedoms keep you from the job or keep you from working you still have to put the work in if you want to see the results if this is a hobby for you if you don't really need the money if you don't care if you make sales by all means you know list once a month and do whatever you got to do but i know that a lot of you really want this to work they you are doing this full time or you want this to replace your job eventually and that is not going to happen without work hard work everyday work um and like i said you can make your work schedule around your life but you still have to work so stop making excuses stop skipping entire days of work because life happened 
Think back to when you worked a nine to five, back to when you had to schedule your life around your work. You couldn't just make an excuse. And if you did and you called in enough times, you got fired, right? But if you work for someone else and you have to go and clock in on a time clock at a specific time and stay in that place until another specific time at which you clock out, you can't say, well, you know, my son joined a soccer team and I'm not going to work anymore um, on these evenings. That's not how it works. Or, oh, my cat needs to go to the vet. No, you used to have to schedule all of your events, all of your life things, family things, doctor things. You used to have to schedule those around your rigid work schedule when you worked for someone else. And for some reason, when people leave that type of job, that rigid schedule of clocking in and clocking out and now work from home, they're forgetting that you still have to work sometimes. And I know that some of you may get upset when you hear this or feel defensive. And here's what I'm going to tell you. If you're listening to this and you're nodding your head and you're agreeing, you either are already doing everything that you should be or you know you're doing something wrong and you know you need to change it. If you're feeling defensive or upset, you're doing something wrong and you're not willing to change. Um, and I wanted to put this out there for you guys to listen to to hopefully get through to some of you. Yes, you no longer have to be somewhere at a certain time every day and stay locked in until a certain time. Clock in, clock out. You no longer have to schedule your life around someone else's schedule. You can now schedule your work around your life, but you still need to work. So if you have a lot going on in the morning, don't come home and go, oh, I'm tired, I'm just not gonna list today, and then wonder why you didn't make any sales. Put the work in, make the effort to have good, solid routines, a good work schedule, be your own boss. Make sure you're micromanaging yourself and make sure you're, you're making sure that you are working. Because if you don't work, your business doesn't make money. So you have to kind of be sometimes a mean boss to yourself, I guess. Um, but if you have really good schedules and really good routines in place, if you've got your to-do list done, if you've got a bullet journal, and then other things happen that throw wrenches into that, it's a lot easier to complete the day's work or complete the day's tasks if you have those in place. If you're just kind of winging this and you wake up whenever you want each day, which is our, you know, one of our freedoms, we can do that if we want. Um, but if you're just waking up whenever, lollygagging around, just doing whatever whenever, and you don't have a to-do list, it's going to be easier for you to... Um, fall into that category of people who are making excuses as to why they didn't work. Well, this happened and I felt this way and this happened. If you've got strict schedules and to-do lists, even if something happens early afternoon or in the morning, when you get back, you can see clearly what you hadn't done. And if you've been doing this as a routine, if it is natural for you to go down a to-do list every day and complete your tasks, you will feel compelled to finish that to-do list. You will feel compelled to put the work in and finish listing for the day rather than making excuses. It's easy to make excuses and not do the work when they're not written down in black and white, when you don't have a clear schedule or to-do list in front of you, and if you're not on some kind of routine or schedule. Yes, we have so many freedoms afforded to us because we work from home, and that is wonderful, but make sure you're not allowing all of that freedom and all of the things in your life take away from the fact that you still need to work every day. You still need to put all the effort in to see the results. You will not make money, your business will not be successful if you are not working every day. So I guess I would, again, I know I tell you guys this a lot, you need a bullet journal. And if you're not the type of person who wants to keep a bullet journal or a planner, buy a quarter notebook from Walmart and every day write your to-do list, you know, at night before you go to bed, write the next day's list out, and that way eventually you will be in that pattern and that routine of every day I check this piece of paper and I have to do all of these things. And you can even get yourself on the schedule if you'd like working from 9 to 5 or 2 to 10 if you like second shift, or maybe you're a night owl and you can work from 10 to 4 in the morning. But once you get in that routine and then other things happen, 
occasionally that will throw you outside of your normal hours of work or your normal routine, you will still feel that need guaranteed to go back and complete the list. Once something is established in your life as a habit, your body goes on autopilot and craves that routine, it craves that habit, and you will feel motivated to go ahead and complete the tasks rather than making the excuses of whatever happened that day to just sit back and relax and not work. I'm not saying that you can't take days off, can't take vacations, can't take evenings off, or can't spend time with your family because that's part of that freedom I talked about. I am saying you still have to manage to schedule in blocks of work. If you're someone that wants to work nine to five and have your evening with your family, make that work for you. If you're like me and you wanna get up in the morning and do four hours of work, take a nice break, and then you know do another three or four at night, do it. If you work overnight better, do it. Do whatever you gotta do. Um, because you do have that freedom now. So we don't all have to get up at 6 in the morning and commute to work and clock in by 9. We can legitimately work whenever we want on the best schedule for our own personal inner rhythms, when we like to sleep, when we're most awake and aware, when we're most productive, when we're most the, when we're the most productive and around all of our family. But you got to make sure you schedule that time in, whatever it is for you. If you want to work a nine to five, you can. You can work two hours here and two hours there throughout the day until it adds up to a full work day. Um, and I, I do enjoy that freedom. And I hope that you guys enjoy that freedom. But just don't forget, because we're not working for someone else, that we still need to work. Yes, we can make it work for us. But let's stop making excuses. And if you start to question why you're not making money, ask yourself, are you working every day? Are you legitimately making this your job? Or are you just living your life with this kind of in the back burner and you're making excuses and finding that you're procrastinating and you're not putting in the amount of work that you should? Um, if that's the case, go get a notebook, start keeping track of everything you need to do each day, get yourself in that routine, create a habit. It takes about 30 days to create a habit. So if you are someone that's completely off schedule right now and making excuses and not working, it'll take about 30 days of forcing yourself to sit down and make that list every night and go through it. But before you know it, it'll be autopilot, you'll be motivated, you'll be compelled to get your work done no matter what else happens. So I hope this helps some of you. Um, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have days where I make excuses too. We all do. You just can't make a habit of it. And you have to be willing to put the work in regardless. So there, I mean, there's days where I, um, not making excuses, but there's days where I have a bad day as far as my pain levels or my back hurts. And then I know I can lay on my heating pad and list for my phone. I make it work for me. I don't make excuses. Um, for the most part, but we all do. We all have days where we just don't feel like doing anything and you find yourself farting around on Facebook, wasting time. Um, but you have to be able to recognize that in yourself and say, oh my gosh, I'm wasting time. I'm making excuses. Let me get back on track. And keeping track of everything on paper, in black and white, creating those routines, creating those habits is what's going to keep you on track and keep you working. Um, you do have tons of freedom. You do work for yourself, but that's the key word. You work I'm talking into the mic because this is important. You work for yourself. You are not home to play and have a hobby if you want this to be something that supports your family. If you need the money to pay bills, if you need the money to eat. Hey, even if you're just working towards a vacation, you still want that money for vacation. What happens if you come up short the money to go on vacation because you kept making excuses and not working? So I just, you know, kind of tough love. You guys know I'm a really big fan of telling you how it is but nicely because I do care and I do want everyone to succeed but when I consistently see something in social media from a lot of people sometimes I feel the need to come on here and give some tough love um so I hope you know you guys didn't take this the wrong way and if you feel even the slightest twinge of um being def defensive or offended my dad always told me if you ever felt defensive about something someone was saying, you're guilty. 
If it didn't affect you at all, if it doesn't bother you, you're not doing anything wrong. So if you feel a little twinge towards me, just think about it. Go buy a notebook. Get some scratch papers. I don't care. But create a schedule for yourself. Create a routine. Start doing your work every single day. Stop making those excuses and you guys will absolutely see more money. The more work you put into this business, the more it's going to pay out for you. This is not something that is a, like I said at the beginning, it is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not magic. The harder you work, the more you put into your business, the more your business will pay out for you in the end. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, guys. Like this video before you leave. If you would, it does help the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Until next time, you guys have a good night.